theatre here. Yeah? It's just the road leading to the theatre. Like this to take one? I don't know, let's see. Lights because we're going in a cave. Just read this, and then we're going in the cave to the cave, and we we have to find the cave. Uh, Hi, you wanna wait? I'm teaching Mr. Dab. What is this place? Cave. Uh, there's a self-guided walking trail here. It's around 600 meters to walk and uh, we are just going to check out a few trails and uh, we'll show you. A lot of mozies probably. See Rishan on your left. How big is the tree? There are like different different trees, right? So it was actually unexpected. Um, we just um we thought it was it would lead us to okay, but we just went like in a circle. That's a bit bad. Yeah, it's close, man. The one is also a trampoline. Just be careful. Don't don't walk on the path. Can you see the vents? So welcome to the grand entrance. If we were here 30,000 years ago, this was a lot grander. We'd actually be a cave by now. 30,000 years ago, something seismic happened like an earthquake. We think it shook the earth and it brought down the roof. We are standing on the roof of the grand entrance. <laughs> Yeah, the roof that collapsed on the top.
Come look up, guys. Can you see all the bats? Sit around. Yeah. I'll get you guys just to move here this way. We'll get everybody up the stairs. Yeah, I've got it. Deep enough to be underground. Now, when it rains, the rain seeps through this rock above our heads and it dissolves this rock. It carries those minerals with it. Eventually, that water will evaporate and leave those minerals behind. They start to form new types of crystals. Now, depending on how that water evaporates is the sort of feature those crystals will grow. For example, above our heads... Oh, actually, I'm going to go for a light. There's a light. There's too many bats up there. ...from the roof right down the middle of that rock to create that lovely, smooth, flow stone right in the middle. Oh, just watch them. Which one's which? Which one's a stalactite? tight? Which one's a stalactite? mite? You've got 50-50 chance. Mice on the floor. Sorry? Mice on the floor. Mice on the floor. Uh, when I was a kid, I went to a cave and the cave guy said... Uh, uh, Okay, so we're expecting to see this kind of light inside the middle of the cave. The same thing that happened at the grand entrance has happened here as well. The same collapse. About 30,000 years ago, this roof collapsed. Sorry. <laughs> so head on in guys, grab a seat on these chairs up the back. We're going to do a little light show and you want to sit up this end of the room. I think you had to sit on here. Come. up to this cave mouth we don't have to go in you just get to the mouth get as low as you can even from here you can see right up the back of the roof there's a big black shadow on the roof and that's the bats on there um, there is a headache rock I'm going to put my head up hand on it so you don't smack your head into it because it juts out a lot further than anything it's going to be so if you'd like to see some bats come on up Come, it's raining. 
scary. You are the last person. You are the last person. We were driving for eight hours. We were driving for 12 hours. We were actually driving for 12 hours. We got lots of treats. We also, we went to um, the crash site and then I, when he was going in, it was so bumpy and there was broken pieces of uh, a plane and we also bought these crystals and Roshan bought like, uh, what do you call it? Fossils. Yeah, fossils. And we got lots of treats on our way back home. Do you know where we got the fossils and the crystals from like a area where we went in a cave? 